You're listening to Doris Radio. You're listening to Doris Radio on WHCP. You're listening to Doris Radio on WHCP. You're listening to Doris Radio. Doris Radio. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back, guys. This is Fetty Krug, and you're listening to Doris Radio on WHCP 101.5 FM. Keep it lit out, y'all. Hey, hey. Guys, guys, it has been an absolute blast, you know. Likewise, man. All right, man, I enjoy this. Hanging out with you guys on the air today. And um, you've shared so many gems with us about, you know, just your, your artistry and your self-expression, but also just life right. and how we can get through. And um, one of our overarching themes on this show is mental health. And okay. I'd love to hear from you guys about what your personal self-care routine looks like in your own life, if you have one. Right. My personal self-care routine, I'm honestly... I call it my personal self-care and my artist self-care. But in the morning, when I get up, I'm waking up to hip-hop. That's uh-huh. just that's just what it's going to be. Uh-huh. My song of choice, believe it or not, is either going to be the Wu-Tang Clan Triumph, because that was the uh-huh. video I was telling you about as an yeah. eight-year-old. It captivated me. Or it's going to be uh, Max B, Bang Bang Boogie, okay. because that's like a little smooth. It's like a nice, <laughs> mellow vibe in the All morning. Right. Right. But at the end of the day, before I do anything before i get up brush my teeth or anything i'm gonna play that song uh-huh. that usually gets one of them songs usually gets me like at least right. mentally where i need to be when i get up my mom and my aunt bird actually is you know they burn sage so i go get some sage i open the window or whatever i burn some walk through the house with it whatever the case may be just a quick one you know what i'm saying um i definitely go medicate before I brush my teeth, <laughs> before I take a shower, before right. I eat, right. I medicate for the day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And gotcha. outside of that, man, I'm just real big on, um, I can't even remember what it's called, man, but it's some type of supplement pill that I uh, got when I take my um, one-a-day, like the men's one-a-day vitamins and all that. And it's like, it's good for like... um. It's good for your skin mainly, but it's also good for like relieving, releasing stress toxins and stuff like right. that. So, you know, I just more so... On a spiritual sense, I burn sage. I make sure I get myself together for the day before I even get in the energy of anybody, anybody else. And, um, you know, Mary J. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, seriously, though. That's uh-huh. And honestly, in terms of mental health, man. I don't hold things in no more. Right. Like if I if I feel That's a way about something, about to say, you man. know what I'm saying? If I need to talk, whether it's good, bad, right, wrong, and different, even if I need to talk to somebody that may not even have anything to do with what I need to talk about, just knowing that I got somebody that'll listen to me and just yo, just even if you ain't got nothing to say, bro, just let me get this off me. Let me right. get this to you, and you can dump it out back if you need it. But please let me get this to you. You feel me? Right. So it's like I try to surround myself with good people you know what i'm saying that i know for a fact it's not always about money or what you can do for me it's like man you genuinely care enough to just hear me out when i'm not feeling good you know what i'm saying word mine's man is just you know when i wake up i just make sure that my my mental is in the right spot you know what i mean before i get to somebody else you know what i'm saying that that little bit of time in the shower you know what i mean just thinking not even talking to myself you know what i mean just thinking like this day gotta be better than yesterday's you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i'm gonna make it better than yesterday's you know what i mean i'm not gonna let that's my purpose nothing exactly yeah. you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna let nothing sway me from making this day a good day you know what i'm saying even if what, whatever happens at work or anything you know what i mean might not be good or whatnot but once, once i get out of that situation that's that it, that's that it's, it's it's over and done with you know what i'm saying there's no dwelling on nothing man life keep going man you know we, every second you never know when you might not wake up you know what i'm saying right. so you that's can't you, you cannot dwell on stuff man you got keep going man you know what i mean it's like nip said it the best man it's a marathon bro it's Don't a not marathon. Stop. <laughs> this is not a race this is a marathon yes, we're gonna sir. keep going bro it's no finish line to this you know what i'm saying so yeah that's what it is man a little bit of hip-hop in the morning Make sure I'm good before I leave the door. Kiss my kids, wife, and I'm good. All right. You know what? You like music play a lot into it too, cause I, I realize like just music is probably like a part of myself that I can ain't even tapped into yet. But Word. you know, I got this one artist. Not I have him, but it's one artist that I always seem to be able to find a song or at least a vibe from when I'm not feeling good. And that's Erica Badu. Mm, mm, You know what I'm saying? Like on and on. And uh, 
window seat and you know just uh didn't you know didn't you know <laughs> like yo real talk it's like my boy oh, sway oh. can sing you man this nah i just crazy. you know what i mean i'm i'm yo this me you <laughs> heard <laughs> this i ain't got time to be nobody else but me Fact, you ain't had the luxury to be around me and see how real and authentic i am yet Hopefully one day we can make it happen. But if you think I'm going to get up here and hold back, try to be cool, <laughs> all that, I'm already cool, you heard? Right, like, right. it's just me. But real talk, man, like, I think even if it's not hip-hop, soul, or r and I really feel like music in itself is therapeutic. Yeah. So I feel like people should always find at least they go-to song or they artist or something where they know, like, man, let me lay back, just throw my boy on real quick, let right. him talk to me before I so calm down. Settled, yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? I really mm -hmm. do think it's therapeutic. Like, my mom has used my music in some of her classes before. Like, she's a guidance counselor. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying now? So, like, with some of her clients, she even has, like, referenced some of my music. Like, I got a song called Just Listening. Uh -huh. And, like, you know what I mean? It just speaks in reference to, like, what me that? praising my mother for just being who she was and showing me in a physical sense that, like, yo, you don't got no time to be dwelling. Like you said, you don't got no time to, time to dwell on whatever happened. Uh -huh. A second ago because really that's the past yeah. you can't change it it's nope. done nobody's going back in time and whatever transpires from it whatever you got to keep moving forward and just to see her do everything she did once my father once my father was shot and killed like she went back to school and got a GED uh -huh. like she went to college and got a degree Word. she started teaching she built her own house on her own land. She stopped teaching and became a guidance counselor. She got her own estate. It's just like, yo, you really, she defy the odds, to yes. be honest with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I don't know, man. It's just like, in the sense of, in the sense of just like, just taking care of yourself on all levels. Like, that song, Just Listen. It, it was therapeutic for me too because it was like the first time that I was ever just like that wide open about a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Where it's just like, look, yo, this is the truth about how I came up with my mother. You know what I'm saying? Right, right wrong, and different. And I love her for it because she taught me how to be tough. She taught me that you gotta, you can't be lazy. You know what I'm saying? She taught me like. It's on you if you go out here and you dumb as a doorknob because you don't go learn what you're supposed to learn because it's right here for you to learn. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I don't know, y'all. In the sense of mental health, Jane, just make sure the people that's around you are for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it might not be your mother or your family or whatever. Sometimes it's not. Like me and him, we're not blood-related family, but Word. you can't tell me this is not my brother. Yeah. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. You can't tell me this ain't my brother. You know what I'm saying? That's real, man. Mm -hmm. That's. Uh, that, that, that leads me into, the, I guess, the next question, you know. Um, what is a source of love for you guys? Loyalty. <laughs> Loyalty. Music. Trustworthiness. Or you know what I'm saying? Family. Um, love me enough to tell me when I'm wrong. Yeah. You word. know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, no matter how strong an opinion I may be, if my opinion is flawed or wrong or not beneficial for the greater si situation at hand, word. tell me I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? I can listen to a, somebody tell me I'm wrong, word. but under no means let me go out here thinking I'm right when I'm really wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people that'll let you do that for whatever reason. Yeah, they might crash. be scared to say something. They might not even care enough to say something. They might be happy that you wrong and you think you right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So just... I mean, to me, love looks like honesty, trust, loyalty, faith, and just just being real, yo. You know what I'm saying? Just be real, man. All right. That's all somebody can really ask is you just be you. You ain't like you know how to be nobody right. else, man. Right. You don't rock with be a genuine with me, you. Man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Be a be a be a a, a thorough you. Right. You know what um, I mean? If you don't rock with me, don't rock with me, man. Don't smile in my face. And then, you know what I mean, go somewhere else and you yeah. throwing bad bones. Talk crazy about yeah. me. You, you know don't rock with me, don't rock with me. It's full. It's cool. It's cool, man. You it know? really is. You don't have to like everybody. You know what I mean? You know what mom told me? If everybody that you meet in this world like you, you the fakest person this world has exactly. ever seen. Real right. talk. Right. My mother told right. me that. It was real. like, if everybody you meet yeah. in life like you, you the fakest person this world has ever seen. Uh -huh. yep. Straight yep. like that. It's, that's fake you know it's no way that every single body as different as the people are in the world yeah, as is like everybody 
with their own beliefs and religious principles and whatever they stand on. Everybody like you? I mean, nah, you fake. You a yeah, chameleon, yeah, bro. Yeah, you a chameleon. Yeah, you, exactly. you blend in with whatever the that's whatever the on. energy is. That's you, but yeah. that's not a I'm real person. person you know what I mean? Facts. Right. That's not who are you unapologetically. Yeah. You know what I mean? And leave it up to me to decide if I rock with you. Because chances are I probably will. You ain't crazier than me, my family, or my group <laughs> of friends. You ain't. Yeah, I, fact, you ain't, bro. So I promise you, I can find a reason to like you, bro. Right. Just be real, my G. You, you know, know what I'm saying? That's the best part, I think, about you know being your whole self. You know, it gives other people an opportunity to show you yourself in another perspective. Mm -hmm. You might think people... Will feel some type of way, and then you'd be surprised. If people they, actually, know, yeah. they might yep. agree with you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they love you for all the things that you hated about you. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. So just go out there and be be your full self, and um, I think that's that's major. We gotta take that with us. Loyalty, that's big on uh, mental mental health as well, yeah. man. A lot of people not even comfortable to be who they are because oh, of society's yeah. stigmas. Yeah. Yep. yeah, you know what I'm saying? They scared. They not really scared, but they just don't want to have to sit in front of the pressure of oh if i do this society might think i'm this or right, society yeah. you know what i'm saying it's like man society gonna think what society gonna think whether you do that or not so you might as well start making yourself happy mm -hmm. what is you talking about you living for society now nah, you living for you man Gotta you know what i'm yourself. saying Fact. everybody don't like me some people think i'm loud you know what i'm saying too outspoken you know what i mean strong in opinion think i know everything i can well, accept we that yeah. I, can, I can accept that I can accept that because I know people who love me because I'm loud. You know what I'm saying? Strong in opinion. Mm -hmm. Outspoken. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he said, bro, it's cool. Yeah. I under you I'm not it's your fun, cup bro. of tea. You probably ain't mine. Right. I want some honey in mine. You got right. sugar. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know what I mean? Right. So whatever. Uh -huh. Just be real though. And be be confident yourself. Be confident enough in yourself to be real regardless of who may whose opinion may be what. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be unapologetically you and don't feel like you got to live up to a stigma in society just because this cool or this ain't. You know what I mean? Right. Word. Plastic. That'll help you a lot with mental health. Word. <laughs> Being you is cool. Word. Being you is the coolest thing you could ever do in life Word. from ages newborn to last breath or I straight tell, like that. I tell youngest that all the time man you ain't got to be a gangster for somebody to like you man just be you you know what i'm saying i like you more for not trying to be what, somebody somebody you not. you not you know what i'm saying people can sense you can sense that energy. exactly you can always tell. and you can always feel the energy when somebody is like like this what you giving us man but this ain't really you Right. And it's okay that this ain't you, but it's not okay that you're not accepting that it's that yeah. this ain't you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's the part that's not okay, yeah. bro. You can feel it though. Especially when you from where we from, the neighborhoods we come from. Definitely it, it, it it help you teach it teach you how to weed stuff like that out early. Early, early. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you not even familiar with the lingo we using. You don't wanna do this for real, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Word, man. Fellas, fellas, it has been a blessing catching up with you guys today on air. It's been and a on. mutual situation, though, man. Thank you for having us both. Right, Seriously, you, man. Right. And um, before we close out and go into our final track, uh, I want to have you guys complete the sentence for me. Someday I'll. Someday I'll buy all my sisters a mansion. Amen. I like that one. Right. It's coming. It's coming. Fact though. Someday, I'll be able to look back on all the stuff that I did in life and be able to smile because I know I did it for me and for the people that I loved and the benefit of all of us all the way down to the children and the children of the children that we ain't had yet. Facts. Bang. There you go. That's it. Yo, yo. Until next time, guys. This has been Doris Radio. And DTO, Fatal to Cannon, Fetty Krug, Defy the Odd, CK730, and Jess, what up? Man, Caper. Out, Caper. Tell us where we can find you guys online. What you want to tell them, Rude? I mean, if we can make it easy, you can find us everywhere, man. Word, man. YouTube for the videos, every streaming platform, digital streaming platform service from Tidal, Apple Music, Google Play, Amazon, Spotify, Word. Deezer, Pandora. Help me out, Ruga. Yeah, we, we everywhere except we, Walmart. Yeah, we everywhere, man. <laughs> We gonna be on Walmart Radio soon too. Most Word. That, most that, Check man. us out, man. But we definitely everywhere, man. Follow us. Um, follow me at Fatal to Cannon. Everything F A T A L D A C A N N O N. That's 
Twitter, IG, and Facebook. Follow Fetty Krug on IG at Rugarel 600 underscore. Follow the whole Defy the Odds movement, man. CK730, J-E dollar sign. We love y'all because y'all love us, man. Right, though. You're listening to Doris Radio. You're listening to Doris Radio on WHCC. You're listening to Doris Radio on WHCC. You're listening to Doris Radio. Doris Radio on WHCC.